So the problem says, using calculus, identify the open intervals on which f of x equals 3x to the 4th minus 4x to the 3rd minus 12x squared plus 5 is increasing or decreasing. So the first thing we want to think is first derivative test when we hear increasing, decreasing. So we're going to go ahead and take the first derivative. Bring the 4 down in front of the 3's, 12x to the 3rd minus, again, 3 times to the 4, 12x to the squared minus 24x. And that's that. And the first thing we want to do is um, see if it's we can set it equal to 0 or if anything does not exist. And since it is polynomial, we don't have to worry about running into any problems. Um, the first thing we want to do when we set it equal to 0 is start to simplify. Um, we can go with 12x, take a 12x out of this, and that will leave us with x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. And we can further factor, giving us x minus 2 and x plus 1. That would give us x equals 0 x equals positive 2, x equals negative 1. And those are our three critical numbers. Um, the next thing we want to do is plot our points on a number line. 0, negative 1, and 2. Infinity and negative infinity would be over here. And the first thing we want to do is find numbers between our intervals. Our first interval is negative infinity to negative 1. Our next interval would be negative 1 to 0. Third interval would be 0 to 2 and our fourth interval would be 2 to infinity. Between negative infinity and negative 1 we would just choose um, a number. Negative 2 is fine. Here we would choose negative one half. Here we would choose one, and here we would choose something like three. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in. When we plug it into the original function, we get negative ninety-six minus forty-eight plus forty-eight. Those two cancel out. So we just get negative 96. Right away the negative tells us that we are decreasing. Um, here we get negative 15 minus 3 plus 12 equals about 7 and a half. And that positive tells us that we are increasing. Here we get 12 minus 12 minus 24 um, and those two cancel out so we're just left with the negative 24 and the negative tells us right away that we are decreasing and lastly we get here when we plug this in 324 minus 108 minus 72 and that leaves us with positive 144 and we are increasing. So here we can say negative 1 to negative infinity we are decreasing, increasing, decreasing, and increasing again. And our answer would be that we are increasing on the interval is negative 1 to 0 and 2 to positive infinity. And we are decreasing on intervals negative infinity to negative 1 as well as 0 to 2. And that is our answer.